Welcome back. It's Wednesday night. You guys know what that means. It's welcome to Create Wedding Wednesday Live. And we are talking all things guests and party and serving tonight. So, 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 so excited. Uh, I want to introduce myself, Samara Tushvan. I lead product at Crate. We are here tonight in Chicago in our Northbrook store. It's nice and quiet. Store is closed. We get to have just an amazing conversation with you about all things, how to serve and throw the best parties and have your appetizers and tablescape, et cetera. But I am even more thrilled. I get the pleasure of working with some of the most amazing people in retail. And I have a special guest tonight who, oh, I just have to talk her up a little bit because this woman has, uh, she is the reason you know Crate for entertaining and the great way that Crate does entertaining. She's been with the brand for years, um, and so she's going to impart her amazing knowledge on us this evening. So please introduce yourself. <laughs> so kind. Thank you. My name is Katie Fisher. I lead the tabletop teams at Crate and Barrel. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, we are <laughs> so excited. I love weddings. I love helping people with their registries, and I love to host. So this is going to be such a fun night. All right. So we're going to kick this off. Um, hopefully, you guys are somewhere warm in your home, posed up, and um, you're probably on your phone. And I always have to do a gentle reminder. Do not forget to leverage our Crate and Barrel app. The app is gonna be one of the best tools that you're gonna be able to have to support you in your registry journey. It allows you to do things like manage your thank yous, you can easily add, remove, change the quantity of items on your list. You get alerts when things have been picked up off your list. And it's your one-stop shop so that in case you needed to uh, want to schedule a virtual appointment with our store associates, or you wanted to make an appointment to come in and do a private registry walk around with one of our store associates, we just want to make sure that we're here to help you in the best, most safe way that meets your comfort level. And there are lots of different ways to engage with us. Our associates are amazing. They love to do this. They get super pumped and excited about helping our customers build registries. So take advantage, download that tonight. Let's come on in. First of all, what we're about to show you is making us all hungry because <laughs> this is about serving, how to tablescape, and really talking about all the amazing functions that only Crate and Barrel brings to you what we're known for all of the best materials and design and so we are just really excited to help walk through some of the most important elements of building out this part of your registry so katie you want to take us get us started in this yeah, first section sure. so we pulled together some of our favorite collections and just wanted to share with you so i'm going to start over here and i'm actually going to start with our oven to table collection so what i love about this is it's super functional so um, think of this piece down here, um, a spinach artichoke dip. Pull it straight out of the oven. These are porcelain pieces. They're oven safe up to 400 degrees. So you bake your dip, you put it right on that little trivet that it comes with, and it's hot and piping on your table. Um, so a lot of great pieces in here. This platter, um, also in the oven to table collection. What I love to use it for is pancakes. My family is obsessed with pancakes, but I can't make them you know, all at once. So I put this porcelain piece in the oven Keep it nice and warm while I make them all. Bring it out, pop it on the stand, and we're ready to go. So I love this oven to table. Um, the other thing I wanted to call out is our beverage stand. So our cold drink beverage dispenser. So here's a tip to feel like a rock star hosting a party, and it's so easy. I always make um, water with some cut up fruit in it. Um, my family calls it my spa water, but I think it's awesome if you're having people over, put out some glasses. They can fill up whenever they're thirsty and um, it kind of keeps the water handy for them, which I love. Um, I do strawberries and mint or cut up limes. Super, super easy and it looks really cool. Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about here is our Tondo bowl. We have a whole collection of acacia woods in Tondo. I love this piece. It's carved from a single piece of acacia wood. So super beautiful, sculptural, friendly and round. Um, and one tip I have is to always incorporate different materials on your table when you're serving. And I think wood makes everything really warm and it's a nice mix. So I um, love those pieces. It's such a beautiful, beautiful shape. I mean, 
this is this is we are in a candy store today but we're talking about all things apps and i'm going to introduce you guys to mercer um, this is a personal favorite of mine because i love this collection i eat off of this collection every single day but i think what's great is that when you want if you want pieces to match and coordinate we have so many programs that are meant to work so nicely together and then again, you know our rule for Wedding Wednesday Live, there are no rules. So if you want to mix and match, go ahead. We love that. And honestly, so many of the collections can easily intermingle with one another. But let's just talk about some key functions. So just a beautiful, oversized serving bowl. You know, this can be everything from chips to salads to uh, other, you know, you could do beautiful Brussels sprouts. It just has such a beautiful backdrop for any type of colored food. Um, this just is a great addition to have um, in hand. Um, then you can look at things like little mini appetizer plates and like how fun to mix and match between cute little circles, the square, or even the mini bowls. These are perfect for things that you want everyone to take an individual portion or they can hold olives or they can scape, get multiples, and put out lots of mini dips. They're also coordinating the oversized tray. So great for meats, pizza, sandwiches. Um, really, you can use this in just so many functions. And again, what's so wonderful, all of our pieces, this doesn't just have to be about happy hour and appetizers. I mean, you can use these functions every day, all day, in your routine, and they're fabulous. You know, just to remind you, Mercer, these little guys, $3, $2.95. The recommendation here, honestly, pick up 12. Fantastic to have in your, in your arsenal and really making sure that you have everything you need. When you decide to get together and have, you never know how many people you might have over. This little guy, the three-piece server, so amazing. We actually use this every Tuesday at my house for Taco Tuesday. I put all the kids' toppings in here. It's fantastic. You can put all of your dips in here. Um, you can also use it for desserts. It's so fun if you wanted to do different sprinkles on ice cream. Put a few of these out on your island or on your table as your tablescape. Just another great way to move the things around the table and to get people moving around your party or get together. But nice individual dipping container. And then we pulled some pieces here on the end, um, just really simple shapes and really beautiful materials. So I think these are kind of the chameleons of your table. They're going to go with anything. So we'll start with these porcelain pieces, these great porcelain rectangle platters, usable for anything and go with anything. So I definitely recommend these. Um, this little bowl here actually is magic. So um, $2.95, I own about 12 of these. And what I love to do with these is um, when I'm putting out veggies and dip, instead of just having one dish where they all live, I put different veggies in these and kind of spread them all out all over the island, a bunch of different dips, and then people aren't reaching over each other. They're kind of accessible and all over. So it's a really nice way to serve multiple things. Um, and then marble. These are a few pieces from our awesome French Kitchen Marble Collection. So a few things here. This piece back here, what I love about is it gives your table a little bit of height um, and it's a good use of space, right? So you can go a little vertical, kind of keep the table looking interesting. So a really beautiful piece. And then some of our boards down here, what's really awesome about marble is that it retains cold. You can put it in the refrigerator and it stays cold. So what I like to do is prep my cheese board get it all looking pretty, pop it in the fridge, and then when the guests come, you put it out and it kind of keeps that cheese nice and cold. Um, so some really beautiful pieces here to mix and match. All right, so let's take a question. I love it that you guys are like getting ahead of the game, you're submitting questions. And so this one is from Alexandria VP. Um, shout out, hello. We love our Le Creuset Dutch oven. Can you use it to serve? And what would you match it with? You absolutely can. And we thought this was a fun one. This is one of our petrified acacia wood um, serving boards. And then we thought, wow, you know, you're bringing something right out of the oven. You've got soups. You might do a fun fondue out of your Lake Crusade. But what a beautiful way to protect your service by using surface, by using the board, putting it right on top. 
It's going to be able to hold and take any of that heat. That way you can open, close, keep everything nice and warm, but it really can make a nice presentation for ever, wherever you'd like to place it on your table as you're scaping. And then you add any of the little mini serving dishes all around so that people can kind of serve and grab and go. The other question that came up are just, what are other really great pieces to add to serving that most people don't know about? And I would say one of our favorites that is like, this is what people will talk about when they come and visit, but this is our tilt serving bowl. So this is super fun. It comes with a little individual mini spoon and it's perfect for things like candies or nuts, anywhere where people are having to reach in and grab, but you're giving them a very sanitary option for how they're able to take advantage. We do this in two sizes. It's so fun to line up three or four and people can just grab and go and manipulate as they see fit and you don't have to worry about extra hands touching the food. It's a really fantastic addition. Love that piece. Okay, so this is the big reveal. We are super, super inspired and hungry when you look at all the different ways in which you can use crate product. This is really what we do best. I mean, this is this is crate at its at its best in all the way in which our pieces come together together to create the ultimate entertaining tablescaping giving you lots of function. Um, really excited to take you guys through this. Kitty, I'm, I'm drooling here because it's all so, <laughs> oh, so, so amazing. What are some of our favorite pieces if we were to kind of walk piece by piece? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to start here on the corner. So this is actually a Lazy Susan uh, mixed marble and wood. And what I love about serving on a Lazy Susan, I used to do early in my marriage, all of my entertaining on the coffee table. We had floor cushions and um, it's nice to kind of have that in the middle of that coffee table. People don't have to reach across. You can kind of just move it around and get what you need. So it's a beautiful um, way to serve. Here we have another two-tier server. Again, look at that height and that drama that it kind of adds to the table and really simple foods just look so elevated and beautiful on it. And then this piece I wanted to talk about is our Sylvia board. Um, there's actually two different shapes um, that fit together and you can kind of make it as long as you want it to be. So Samara's got my some examples here to show, but it just kind of can extend for as long as you need to create this beautiful charcuterie board. And we love, we've seen these done and, and have seen our customers. They buy multiples of these and you can scape them all the way down the center of a table. You can do them on an island, but they're really beautiful and just add another artistic flair to pulling together your appetizers. And I think while we're here, it's a good time to take another question. So M. Riley asks, hi there, how do you style the perfect charcuterie board? So I think this is a perfect example here. It's all about mixing up different foods, different textures. I'm um, doing things again that add height like the grapes. Um, there are no rules, it's sort of whatever you love. So you can mix in the different fruits and nuts. Um, if you're particular about things touching, I would suggest some mini bowls. We have some beautiful little wood bowls that sometimes I like to put the fruits or the almonds in. Um, you can't go wrong. So just just go be creative and kind of go with what you love and, and you'll win. Um, speaking of little wood bowls, I love this little trio here. What a beautiful way to serve nuts, crackers. Um, and these are great. These would also be great for my earlier veggie idea, kind of spreading those out all over. Um, I love a mix of big pieces that make a statement and little pieces that could kind of mix in a lot of different foods. It's also nice because what I love about these is that you can take them and you're, you're hosting, you've got friends over and everyone always tends to congregate at one part of the kitchen and it might be at the end of the kitchen island, it might be around that coffee table, but you can actually start to move the, the food and the goods around the space so that you actually can help kind of control traffic and everyone gets an opportunity to nibble as they please, but without creating a big traffic jam in one spot. So that's what's so nice about a lot of these modular pieces. 
Um, one thing that I wanted to highlight to you guys, kind of a little trick that I like to use when I'm having people over who are bringing dishes, like a potluck. Um, these are our slate toasters. And what I like to use them for is uh, marking food. So say you bring a, a dish and everyone wants to know what's in it. You can write with chalk, or we sell a little soapstone chalk, what the dish is and lay these out. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and lay these out for your guests to see what the dishes are. Um, I also like to use place card holders. So these are beautiful, just little stainless steel, simple place card holders that you could write your dish on and lay out. Um, so there's a lot of different uses for some of these things. So good. So let's take another question. Um, one of the, uh, what again, what are the most overly, commonly overlooked items people forget to register for? And we have a fantastic assortment of just don't forget about your cheese knives. Um, we've got some great sets, beautiful mixed materials, um, just such an easy thing to add to your registry. These make a fantastic little gift. And as people are, are, are helping pull items off of your registry, these are great add-ons so that they can complete the look. So they want to gift you a beautiful serving board. They can give you the cheese knives to go with. Um, we just, they've got so many artistic and artisanal expressions, but people will easily forget about these and they're just super easy to add a few different collection types right to your registry. Yeah, that's a really good tip. Don't forget about the servers. Like for example, here are these beautiful gold tongs make serving the salad so easy. So these are the kind of things that when I registered, I forgot about, and then you, you're in a rush to get them while you're having a party. So think of the servers that you'll need to go along with your serving pieces. And right next to this gorgeous, gorgeous salad um, is one of my favorite pieces, actually, the feast platter. So the pizza on here looks so lovely. We use this at home, bringing things back um, in from the grill. So it's, you can put food directly on it. It's got those handles, makes it really convenient. It's great for outdoor entertaining or bringing stuff inside. So it's one of my favorite pieces. Oh, I love that. Actually, these are all my favorite pieces. I'm so excited to talk about everything. So um, I'd also love to point out this two-piece chip and dip in glass here. So this is a great classic. This has been in the assortment 30 plus years. Um, beautiful that that individual bowl comes out of the middle. So I love it with the hummus and the pita chips here. Um, another idea, you can actually fill that outer ring with ice and put shrimp on top and then cocktail sauce. And it's a great little cocktail shrimp server. Um, so awesome ways to kind of use these for, for all sorts of different foods. That's so good. I'm gonna pull out just a few that are thinking about function and space saving. Um, we have a few modular kits that have the individual trays already included. This is our five piece modular serving, but these are wonderful because we give you all the pieces to um, move again, move what you're trying to contain around. And then they so easily nest back here for space saving consideration. So it's beautiful. They can keep things warm, etc. This also can go into the oven, but be pulled back out. Um, so just a fantastic all-in-one solution. And we just have several versions of, again, I've used these several times. So another way to be really kind of organic and modular in adding and building out a charcuterie board or any other dips or chips or things that you wanna keep separated, but also has a wonderful serving bowl right in the middle. So just really fantastic and thoughtful pieces so that if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want too many pieces, these solutions can be great for you to start building from. Up here, I wanted to share another one of my favorites, um, the Carson cheese board. So I love the length and the drama of this. Um, it's beautiful set up as a cheese board, charcuterie board, or a base for serving in these little bowls. I love this presentation. Um, one thing I do with it as well is I put it down the middle of my table and as um, dishes come out of the oven, can kind of use it as a long trivet down the middle for family style serving. So it's a really multifunctional piece. I've gotten a lot of use out of that board. Kitty, these were those so fun, these little olive yes. bowls <laughs> that are, you know, just so stinking cute. But, you know, guys, these are just those little great ads that just really round out your experience. And I'd say when we're looking at just even how this presentation came together, 
people will say, well, how do I make it, you know, does everything need to match? And I think this is such a really great example about how all of the crate product just works so hard together and so beautiful and artisanal and um, just really makes a sweeping statement. So you can build to your heart's delight and you can also stick with the favorites that you just are most attracted to, but there's a lot of flexibility in choosing pieces. And, and the other question that we get is, do I really need that many pieces? And I'd say now is the most, it's the best time to take on a little bit more than you need because really what you want is the flexibility that as your household grows and as you're figuring out how you're going to be entertaining together, you have again, all the tools to get the job done right. And honestly, people, these are the kind of experiences your guests want to give to you. So, so many options here. We love them and you can't go wrong. Yeah, I, I second that. I love the mix of material here and just showing how these all work together. I think that's the question I get the most is how do I know if this goes with this? And um, my answer to that always is if you love it, it goes together. Everything belongs on this table because it speaks to you, you love it, um, and it's all gonna work. So don't don't get caught up in what matches, just go with your heart and what, what you think you'll use and you'll get a lot of use out of. Awesome, so Suzanne's gonna feed us a question that's flowing in from the comments. What are, what you got? We have a great question about the wood bowls. People are loving the tondos and they want to know if there's the best way to clean them after use. How do we care for those tondos? Yes. Like yeah, absolutely. Hand wash your wood bowls and dry them right away. So we don't want them to soak. That's not good for wood. And then I like to rub some um, beeswax oil on them every so often just to kind of keep them from drying out. Um, it's really important for large cutting boards, for bowls. Um, that's the best way to care for them. We also have one more question that I thought was a really fun one about um, whether we have any great recommendations for tailgating, entertaining at tailgating. Ooh, yes, a good one. We, you know, we do. And honestly, um, it's one of those, I'm really excited to show these. So what Crate has done, we've taken some of our most popular shapes. These are melamine bowls, but they get their design identity from some of our best sellers. So oversized serving bowls, individual platters, trays, they're lightweight. You don't, you can throw these in the back of a bag or a backpack and you don't have to worry about getting to the game and that it might be broken, but you could lay these out in the, you know, the back end of somebody's pickup truck or however you're going to pull out and skate for out there for a good time. These are really fantastic solutions. They store super easily, clean up easily, and uh, you'll get, make sure that you are the hostess with the mostest when you show up at the game. All right, so I'd say two last things. We just want to make sure that we talk to you to kind of make sure we bring all of the goodness of good things and tips to think about. The first would be um, appetizer forks. Appetizer forks and spoons. We actually sell these individually. They are so super stinking cute. Um, you never really think about this. Another great little thing to put six to 12 of these on your registry. Fantastic. Um, individually, they're $3. These are all great things that people would love to give to you. And then we talked about this a little bit during the cocktail series, but this is the Bash um, uh, wine bucket and it comes in several colors, silver, copper, brass, and a, um, a graphite color. And just, this is a party favorite. It holds so much. It's gonna keep all of your drinks chilled. Um, it really holds the condensation well. But again, when you're thinking about so that you as a host don't have to be so worried about getting drinks for everyone, they can help themselves. It's super beautiful and really helps round out the experience for all of your favorite entertaining gatherings. So with that, it brings us to a wrap. Um, it smells amazing in oh here. Um, we loved having you. You guys are always so awesome. Your questions are so fantastic. Stay tuned. We will be back next week and we're talking about all things betting and bat. You know, um, we're not overly known for that, but it's honestly such, we do some amazing textiles for bed and bat and they are important elements that should be on your registry. So come back next week, 8 PM Wednesday, looking forward to seeing you. As always, thanks guys, Thank we look you. forward to it.